Our big story at 5:30. It's the future of surveillance, but are drones equipped with cameras protecting us or invading our privacy? Yesterday, a Senate committee backed a two-year moratorium on drones used by law enforcement. Ten of your sides, Ann McNamara discovered one city in Hampton Roads has been experimenting with the new technology. And Stephanie, the Newport News Police Department flew a drone over the last Holly Dazzle celebration to monitor crowds and traffic. Many people there may not have even noticed the camera overhead, and that is the concern of the ACLU, but on a much larger scale. When you think of a drone, you may think of this, but the definition can be much simpler than that. The ACLU says a drone is any unmanned aircraft that is controlled remotely. A balloon, much like this one, flew 500 feet above last year's Holly Dazzle celebration in Newport News. Attached a camera with the ability to pan 360 degrees. So it gives a good idea of what traffic was doing before, during, after, what the crowd was doing, what was going on, if anything was going on. The Newport News Police Department isn't the first agency to experiment with drone technology. State police say drones have life-saving potential. There is a, a viable option for the use of these drones in law enforcement or perhaps in senior alerts, Amber Alerts, to save someone's life. That testimony in reaction to a new bill that would require law enforcement to get warrants before putting drones in the air. The ACLU says that requirement is not harsh enough, calling the surveillance an invasion of privacy. The fact is that without a change in the law, police can have a drone follow you or hang over your house or your business or your farm 24 hours a day, seven days a week without any warrant or any other public um, consideration. People have to understand that if you are in public, you have no expectation of privacy. Mm -hmm. Now, does that mean that law enforcement or anybody else needs to be taking a drone or a, a, a balloon or whatever and focusing in on your backyard where you're in the, the hot tub? Mm -hmm. um, that's not the business we're in. And because of heated debate, the Senate committee supported a two-year moratorium to research a better solution. An ACLU spokesperson says simple drones like the balloon used in Newport News would fall under the moratorium. And by the way, that drone did not cost the city a dime. That's because a local company called Bosch Global Industries made that drone and did not charge police for trying it out. I'm Ann McNamara, 10 on your side. One place where you definitely will not see drones is Charlottesville. Yesterday, city council there passed an anti-drone resolution. They're now banned in the city for two years.